In this video, we are going to solve 4x from the equation as shown. This is a problem modified from one of them in AIME 1991. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. To solve this equation, notice that if I replace this x labeled in yellow by this x labeled in green, as in I'm going to cross out the yellow x, extend the fraction line on top of it, and then add the yellow bit, I rewrite root 19 added by 91 divided by root 19 plus 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 91 divided by x. So a kind of extended the equation by getting more and more square root of 19s. So imagine if I iterate this process as in I highlight the right bottom x in yellow again and replace that yellow x by the green x again. So you may see that I will get an equation like this. Square root 19 added by 91 added by square root of 19 and we iterate in this process forever. Now, from this, we can see that it's actually kind of an infinite series. And actually, I can claim that the entire part below or the, the entire part under the first fraction is actually also equal to x. So in that case, our equation is actually just simply equivalent to x equals to square root of 19 added by 91 divided by x. And if I multiply x on both sides, that's x squared equals square root of 19 times x added by 91. And this is in fact just a very simple quadratic equation. And so we can make use of the quadratic formula to solve for x. So by the quadratic formula, x is equal to square root of 19 plus or minus by plus or minus of um, square root of 19 all square, which is 19 minus 4 times 1 times minus 91 and all of that divided by 2. So simplifying, our final answer would be x is either square root of 19 plus or minus square root of 383 and all divided by 2. So now we know that these two numbers are the only possible answer to our problem, but it's given that we have let x to be this expression, this continued fraction, and all entries inside the continued fraction are positive numbers. So we still need to check whether the negative version, as in root 19 subtracted, not plus, but subtracted by square root of 383 all divided by 2, is also a solution. Now the argument goes as follows, because that number, that particular number, root 90 minus root 383 all divided by 2, satisfies this equation. That means for this x, I can replace x by root 19 plus 91 over x, or vice versa, the other way around. So if we go back to our original equation, and I can actually replace this component by x, and I can iterate that, and at last, we we'll still get this to be exactly x. So that particular negative number would still satisfy this equation. So we can conclude that these two numbers, root 19 plus or minus square root of 383, are both solutions to our problem.